Hey everyone, Justin from the Caddis Fly Shop here um, with the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog and today I'm going to be tying up this little um, kind of variation on a corn fed caddis that looks uh, the size and color a little bit more um, tailored to the uh, McKenzie green caddis that we have around here. So um, this is a size 8 Tiemco 100 in a size 8, I just said that? That's okay, redundancy is good. <laughs> so this is a size 8 Tiemco 100 in a size 8 <laughs> and um, yeah, you can use whatever kind of standard dry fly hook you want. Um, I'm tying this with UTC 70 denier in dark gray and let's get it going. So I just start my thread, you know, two thirds of the way back or one third of the way. Does you like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I just take it just to the bend of the hook there. Okay, wrapping it back up. And I don't use a tail on this thing. I just go, just go for it. Um, the body, I'm using fettuccine foam. And these are just, this is just two mil, two, yeah, two millimeter foam cut into strips. Um, so if you have sheets of foam, just use that instead. Um, and this is chartreuse. So I'm just gonna tie this in here. Don't need to do touching wraps. I like it just to trap a little bit of air in the body, with that foam. Start wrapping, and I don't pull this stuff tight. You can see if you pull it tight, it'll get that body nice and thin, but I like them a bit chunkier than that. Okay, just tie it off, leaving a good bit of room in front of the, or just behind the eye for uh, the wing and hackle and everything. Okay, now for the wing, I've got um, some CDC. This is just a super select CDC. We get this stuff from Hairline. It's really nice. Um, comes in these nice big bags. Um, and then these are four feathers that I've lined up two gray and two uh, blue done is the other color. So kind of a darker gray and a lighter gray on top and you can kind of stack them however you want. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna measure those up just past the bend of the hook there. Tie them in. That one got a little unruly but that's okay. Trim those off and then just clean up those butts a little bit. And now I'm going to add a um, little bit of McFlylon which is just this uh, polypropylene material and this is in fluorescent green. Um, use sparkle merger yarn or antron or whatever you got. And this is just for a little bit more visibility and uh, I guess a little bit more flotation. Okay, I'm just gonna go towards the eye there and then double it back over just to really lock everything in. And I'll take both of those strands and I just like to trim them at a little bit of an angle, relatively short. Okay, and now the last step here, pretty, pretty simple fly. Um, I don't do any dubbing or anything here, but you can if you want this uh, CDC spun in a loop to stick a little bit better. Um, but I don't think it matters all that much. So just a pretty small loop there. That's about four inches, I guess. Uh, just a little bit of wax. And then... <clears throat> I have a couple, um, same kind of thing, those two blue done and two gray CDC feathers in this little Swiss CDC clamp just along the stem. I'm just gonna trim those off. You guys tie a lot of flies with dubbing loops, with CDC or deer hair, or Justin was saying with pine squirrel too. That Swiss CDC clamp is just a lifesaver. It makes your life so much easier. Yeah, and it's... I've used those Petagene ones a lot, and 
They just don't really, they work well and they have the other little clamp, but this just holds it really tight. And you know, it's not gonna, not really gonna fall out of there. And it has that nice point so you can get it right up in there, clamp that off. And then I'm just going OPST dubbing spinner. Spin that right up. That is so satisfying. <laughs> and you can kind of pick it out with your scissors or a bodkin or whatever kind of little brush you've got. Um, and then from here, I'm just going to get it in my hackle plier. Trim that end off and start wrapping. Is that wrapping, is that with a WR or with just an R? Just an, no, WR, WR, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, you almost got me. Oops. Okay, just came off the. Yeah, no multitasking. I want to ask yeah, you to freestyle while we'll time the fly. So that just came off of that hackle player there, so I'm just twisting it back up just to make it all adhere a little bit better. Okay. And now, just up to the front there. <clears throat> just gonna tie that off. Give it a couple turns. Trim that tag end off of your, or from the from the dubbing loop. I don't know what music we have on the radio I right now. But say, we should have turned that. Off. <laughs> it's not good. I went down to the river to pray. It sounds kind of like, like that, but worse. <laughs> Yeah, no, that wasn't, I wasn't throwing shade on Allison Krauss. I love Allison Krauss. Yeah, same. Oh, Brother Art, though. One of the greater films. Okay, and then time. I'm just, that, that was the end of the fly there when we were chit-chatting. So I'm just giving it some half hitches just to solidify everything. And then trim that off. Um, use whatever kind of head cement or super glue you want there. Actually, don't use super glue. It'll get... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought that was a bug. Uh, it's my phone you vibrating. You ruined the video. It's my bad. Um, <laughs> I don't like to use super glue because it'll get... Uh, it'll just make those fibers kind of weird. Um, so use a really thin, um, like that penetrator, hard as hole stuff works really well. Because um, that'll soak in without uh, making those fibers on that CDC heart. Uh, so yeah, that was the uh, little corn-fed caddis, McKenzie caddis variation. And, um, you know, we've got all these materials here in the shop. And, uh, you know, you can order them online as well. We've got an extensive selection of all things fly tying. And uh, yeah, Justin here, caddis fly. What? Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that.